filming and editing that aesthetic slow-mo video for your stories, reels, or TikTok doesn't have to be hard. And you could do it using just your phone. What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesdays teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand and every Sunday to show you the behind the scenes of what it's like to run a business as an influencer. First, let's give a huge thank you to this video shout out. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you want a shout out in one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this and tag me over on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. I love creating like those daily vlog type style videos that I usually post in my Instagram stories. And when I do post them into my Instagram stories, a lot of you are like, how do you do this? Oh my gosh, that looks so good. How does your camera quality so good? And y'all, I have like an iPhone X. It's not even the newest version, not even the latest tech with the best quality camera, no. It is all about the filming and the editing. Sponsoring this video is CapCut, which is the app that I'm gonna be using to edit in today. Whether CapCut would be sponsoring this video or not, I use them. I've been using them for months. I've been talking about them for months. They're literally the best video editing app out there for both iPhone and Android, so get on it. You're gonna see one of the cool features in CapCut today. This morning I filmed a little, quick little behind the scenes of like, hey, this is my morning coffee. So the trick with filming your slow-mo videos or the, your videos, your vlog style videos, my favorite thing to do is alternate your camera between like the regular view and the two times view where you zoom it in and it's like a little extra close up. I feel like zooming in, just gives it more of that like aesthetic cinematic feel with your videos. Sometimes when I'm filming, I don't even think about this clip is gonna be slow-mo. This is gonna be a hyperlapse. I don't even think about it until I'm editing. So I just film everything on like regular camera, regular video. I don't select slow-mo. I just film as I go because sometimes we don't know where that video is going to go. We don't know what clips we're gonna use, which we want in like the regular speed because of talking or slow-mo or fast, all the things. So I just record it regular without having to think about it. One more tip when you're filming is as you film some shots, get a little sway going. Go a little side to side, have some movement going so that as the motion is happening in the shot, you have some motion happening with it. So you feel like the viewer is moving along with the video. Now what you're going to do, you're going to open your CapCut app. I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description where you can download the CapCut app as well. If you see this and you're like, that's easy peasy, I wanna do that. I'll leave a link in the description. The great thing with CapCut, I'm gonna start a new project. Everything in the app is free. Literally the app is free, all the things are free. You don't have to pay to access certain features. You don't have to pay to remove watermarks. It's all free. So these are the clips that I filmed this morning. I'm just gonna add them to my project. So I have all of my clips in here and I'm just gonna select the little bits that I want. So I like this dramatic fall. Boom, that's nice. So I'm going to select, split, delete the front. Let's see what the fall looks like. Ooh. <laughs> Let's mute these clips. Love this button here. Mute clip audio, it muted all of the clips. Split. Now, I want this to be cinematic. This is a cinematic coffee making, okay? So I'm going to go to speed, normal. We're gonna slow it down and we're gonna select make it smoother right at the bottom. You see that? You could do a faster process or better quality. I'm gonna click better quality, check. It's going to apply the slow-mo effect, which this slow-mo effect, the make it smoother option is a new effect that they just released this month. It is so cool. Basically, basically, while it applies it to your clip, it's kind of stabilizing your video, making sure the quality is still there. With each clip, it's gonna take a little bit longer to apply the effect. So if you have a short clip, maybe it's one second, and then you shorten that down, applying the slow-mo effect will be pretty fast. But if you have like a 10, 20 second video and you want that entire video to have the slow-mo effect, it's gonna take longer to apply the slow-mo effect to the entire thing because it's really breaking down each frame per second and making sure it's getting the best quality with this effect applied. So let's watch the newest version. I only slowed it down to 0.5. We could see if it needs slower. Ooh, yeah. Nice drip drip, right? Love that. Do I want like the final boop boop? Yeah, we'll keep the little boop boop at the end. I set this shot up on the side because when I did it in the front, the glare from the espresso machine was just getting in the way. So I did it from the side instead and I did two shots. So the first shot where the espresso first comes out, I did zoomed out. So we have split, delete. This first shot of it dripping, boom, boom. Love that, split, that's zoomed out, and you could tell I'm swaying side to side. This shot 
It's great. Now let's zoom it in and get the shot of it dripping at the very end. Ooh, yeah, we love that. Right there, I'm gonna split and delete. Then we're gonna turn this into the slow-mo part. Let's make it shorter so it's quicker. Split, speed, slow-mo. See what 0.4 does. Better quality, apply. I did this one even slower than 0.5, I did 0.4, so this is gonna take a while while it applies this effect. Now I go to work, multitasking. Okay, did it. Now with the effect applied, it looks like this. Ooh, <laughs> so fun. I could never get enough of a good slow-mo, you know what I mean? Then I have, same thing with this froth shot, I did one far away, so I'll just keep a quick snippet of that, split, delete. Then I did one zoomed in. We love it. Split and delete. Don't know, what is this hand doing? What is this hand doing? Speed, bring it slow, apply. This one's shorter, so it should be a little bit quicker when applying the effect. It's already at 20%, this one's fast. Oh yeah, we're almost there. I'm excited to see the froth in slow-mo. I didn't do it the slowest it could go, so we'll see. Looking pretty good. It could probably go slower. Yeah, because the froth is so fast, but I do want to get this pour. Split, delete, and we have pour. And even with the pour, like most of it can be regular, and then let's split the last few seconds of it as slow-mo. Yeah, like that part would be cool as slow-mo. Let's try faster process and see what that does. Okay, selecting faster process is definitely speedier. Let's see if I could tell a difference with the quality. I do see a difference with the quality, so I would switch it to better quality. Better quality does take a little bit longer to load, but it's so worth it with the quality, especially if it's like a few seconds clip. I would focus on better quality, but if you have a really long video, it might be faster to do that faster processing. Cool, slow-mo applied, but now let's see it. Oh yeah, that's better. Split, and we love it. We'll delete, and we'll get some cinnamon on. So this is like 19 seconds. Let's see. I try to keep my clips kind of fast paced, so anything longer than three seconds I feel is too long. Okay, let's watch this. We could trim that. Split, yeah. Slow-mo, boom. <laughs> we love it. Oh my gosh, okay. I love playing with slow-mo effects. I feel like transitioning from like one clip being regular and then slow and then back to regular just creates so much dynamic within a video. And I literally recorded this entire thing on my phone. And I, like I said, I don't even have the best quality of a camera. But just playing around with those shots of like close up and far away really enhances the quality of your video. Hopefully this was helpful and hopefully this inspired y'all to download CapCut because I use it every day. It's one of those things that I need in my business. It's not even a business expense because it's free and I use it every day. Stories, Instagram videos, reels, TikTok. That is what I use to edit all of my videos using my phone, just chef's kiss. I'm so excited that they have this slow-mo feature now and I hope you all decide to use it too. Be sure to download CapCut using the link down in my description. And if you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.